uh, when I first came here, came to to Cornell, so I want to study. I you know I, I want I wanted to study the air quality impact before and after the Beijing Olympics. Right? So at the time, you know, some of you may remember Cornell has a I don't I have no money, right? so uh, Cornell has a travel grant called the called the Lehman Fund for you know scholarly exchange with China, right? So. I want to apply for that grant. So, but for the grant, they ask you how to have a Chinese collaborator. Right? I don't have Chinese collaborator. So what should I do? So I think, well, just write an email to the top air pollution person in China. You know, say what happened. So I wrote an email to Professor Hao. Right? So never expected gonna get any response. Right? And uh, to my surprise, uh, within a few days, I got a response from Professor Hao. Yes, let's work. Together, so that's uh, uh, that's uh, you know re really started my work in China on the air quality issue, and uh, so since then, so every time I met Professor Hao, saying you're welcome, you know, let's you know bring you to Cornell. Right? So uh, that had been over ten years. So <laughs> finally, we have right out here. So my dream came, my dream right. came true. Right. right. Um, so uh, Professor Hao, um, he's. Uh, uh, he's a professor at the at the School of, Un of, Un of Environment. Also, he's former dean of the School of Environment. He's a dean of the Institute of Environmental Science and Engineering. He also the director of the Tsinghua Tokyo Research Institute now. Uh, which this is like a hundred million dollar <laughs> in, in initiative. Uh, Toyota committed to Tsinghua University, right? So, and um, also you know many of us you know we work on one era, right? you know. You work on transportation, or work on building, or you work on biomass, right? Uh, and Professor Hao is the architect, often the chief architect behind almost every single pieces of air pollution regulations in China. Right. Right? So he covered wide spectrum of uh, the area. And uh, also, Professor Hao is a member of the, the Chinese Academy of Engineering. And also the U.S. Uh, National Academy of Engineering. I think only about 20 people in China has such distinction. Right. So, uh, so uh, I just learned. So this is apparently this is not the first time for Hao with uh, yeah. Tsinghua, right? with uh, Cornell. So this is 1985. 1985. So let's welcome Professor Hao back. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, good afternoon, everybody. This is my second time to Cornell, just uh, Mike said. First time is 1985. That time, uh, I have uh, two purposes. One, try to learn how to set up a good uh, environment engineering program. Yeah, that time, I visited the civil engineering department. The second purpose, try to research the impact of acid rain to the agriculture. So I visited the, the School of Agriculture here. So this time I visited uh, uh, Cornell. It's a great honor for me. I try to learn how to combine transportation energy uh, industry with the air pollution control. Um, China, uh, the air pollution mostly call, cause the coal burning. Uh, just like this, China, the, this the energy structure. Coal share maybe more than 6% for the primary energy. Uh, in the future, maybe decline. Maybe by the year 2030, uh, coal share about 50%. Hopefully, but uh, how to e effective clean use of the coal is a big challenge for for China. Second, uh, in China is the urban urbanizations. About uh, one year, maybe twenty million people move from the countryside to the to the cities. That's caused a big pressure also to uh, not only for environment. But the uh, environment is a very important uh, uh, issue for the. Uh, uh, the third one is the, for the mobile. China, the car, 
the population increased. 1980, when I started uh, my PhD program in the University of Cincinnati, when first I want to learn the mobile emission control. But uh, my supervisor said, you know what's the population vehicle in China? One thousand person. I said, I don't know. He said, it's only zero three vehicles, one thousand people. Why you learn how to control mobile emission? You should learn how to control coal emissions. Okay, I follow his suggestions. But after 20 years, China have to face the control for mobile emission control. This is the uh, one reason. So uh, because of the coal use, urbanization, mobile, uh, mobile cause the big pressure for environmental protection. Here I give a, a capital iron and steel. You know, China, that's a big, big industry, yeah. So that's the industry, this is the pollution for the, since 1990 uh, to 2015, uh, uh, every pollution, China become uh, the largest uh, emitter in the world. And not only for uh, one pollution, two plants, for almost uh, the pollution. If we pl uh, plus uh, CO2 for the greenhouse gas, gases, also the largest uh, emitter. Then the city's uh, air quality, that's not good. Yeah, see the you know, WHO gave uh, 20 mega cities that polluted. How many from uh, China? 16 from China. That's the year 2013. Yeah, this is the pollution. Uh, sometimes, this is uh, the year uh, um, 2013, January. This is the by hourly air pollution control concentration. This is the by, uh, this is the by, uh, by hourly, this is by daily. January 13th, that's the highest, yeah, m much higher. Yeah, so the, the improving the uh, air quality, what we can do? Do the, the analysis for the particles, chemically, we can see where it's from. Then we also can use the, uh, use the chemical uh, uh, model to uh, see the air quality. Also can see the competition, <coughs> the contribution different industry. What's the impact? This is the air pollution's uh, impact for human health. This is the, um, before the, in China, maybe not uh, easy to get uh, this information. But uh, after uh, uh, 2013, that this data maybe not only from other country, China have a lot of people do this research about uh, the uh, impact. So, uh, control the air pollution for China, not only a short uh, issue, that's a long-term uh, ch challenge uh, to, to do. This is uh, the background I want to introduce. Then we, in the last uh, 30 years maybe, uh, also maybe more than that, uh, what's the progress? Uh, we uh, face the uh, we see the 1980 to 90 to 2020, 40 years. We uh, working uh, for acid rain control. That's the first. That's why the, I first time come, come to Cornell. That's it. Then the state scale pollution, then regional pollution. That's uh, the last uh, 20, 40 years. We one by one to uh, working on these projects. Uh, as it rains uh, since the uh, 80s, last uh, century, then by the 1998, State Council decided to make the two control uh, zones. Two control, one is the acid rain control zones. The white, uh, red color, that's the, uh, for acid rain. Then uh, in the north of China, the cities, that's for sulfur dioxide control uh, uh, zones. These two 
uh, zooms that the China that time the economy maybe cannot support the whole countries to control sulfur dioxide. But in some serious polluted uh, cities and regions, they can to do the control. Uh, after uh, maybe a, f a few, uh, after Dickey's uh, efforts for acid rain made a progress. This is uh, for the regions for acid rain reduced. Also the, uh, the water, the rainfall may become as the pH value is the normal, 5.6. About this after working for 30 years, maybe made this progress. Uh, after this, China call, recognized how to use the coal. That's a big, big cha cha challenge. The coal use before the 1978, that's about uh, ten, one billion tons. The, in these uh, 10 years, quickly increased from about uh, 1 billion, increased about uh, 4.2 billion tons to uh, coal. This is uh, the uh, increase. Uh, but the uh, government uh, tried to reduce the coal use. In the last uh, maybe five years, maybe reduced uh, about uh, uh, 3. Yeah, 0.8 billion tons uh, uh, to, to, the, uh, to the total coal uh, consumption. Uh, also, uh, that's the uh, thermal and electricity uh, boilers. Also in China, uh, the east part uh, share a very big number for it. Also, the plant power plants uh, small scale. Small scale make the uh, coal efficiency low, also higher e uh, emission f for pollutants. So have to change uh, this uh, system. So, so China uh, push the emission standard. Uh, here give it, uh, 1996. 2003, 2011, 2015, 2014, 15. This make the emission standard uh, improved. Uh, for the last year, for the 2011, the new emission standard, some people always say that's in history the most strict emission standard. But uh, the pollutions in the 2013 for air pollution, I just show you that, that time. To make people understand it, China has a so large power plant industry. The emission standard have to maybe much strict lower compared with the other country. For otherwise, can, no way to solve the air pollution. So, the 2014, uh, uh, in some key regions, key regions, air pollution, serious uh, regions have a uh, low emission standard. But uh, for the 2015, the government uh, tried to uh, alter lower emission standard. That's the uh, made uh, the standard progress. Uh, this uh, the <coughs> natural wide. Uh, uh, to put a uh, uh, environmental pollution uh, system for the uh, different uh, uh, units. The, uh, here is for the power plants, 19% percent coal fired power plants with uh, FGD, that's coal for sulfur dioxide control. Maybe uh, 192 thermal power units with SCR, that's for the and NOx, NOx emission control. Uh, also for the industries, uh, also put the SCR or SNCR for pollution and NOx control. Uh, for the emissions, uh, uh, different uh, uh, system also uh, made a big uh, uh, progress. 
So uh, in, we should say, after a few the efforts, China built the largest the clean energy efficient coal fire power plant system in the world. Depend on the coal, but uh, the emission uh, can meet the natural gas uh, power plants. The sim 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 level, like this. Uh, for the mobile emissions, I say that the population will increase very quickly. China has to set up a one integrated uh, control system for the uh, uh, road vehicles. This uh, give the, uh, we call the, uh, we put a, uh, as a vehicle fuel road integrated uh, uh, framework for the control. Vehicles that include new vehicles, also the in use vehicles. Then the better uh, fuel quality, also very, very important. Then we have uh, tra traffic uh, uh, measures. Then we also uh, put uh, economic uh, uh, measures for the transportation pollution uh, control on road. That's uh, made a uh, very effective uh, reduction for the pollution from this sector. Here I give uh, the example for Beijing. Beijing control uh, mobile emission uh, control uh, since 1998, uh, then to the uh, 2013, about uh, uh, 15 years uh, from uh, uh, the emission probably uh, Europe one to Europe five. That's uh, for Beijing. That's 15, 15 years. Uh, big, uh, you, uh, as the uh, emission uh, uh, standard, the vehicle have to make the progress. Uh, of the fuel quality need improve. Also, the system uh, as with progress. So, the, for transportation uh, system, China made uh, uh, also maybe still have a, a gap with the uh, U.S. or Europe. But for uh, China themselves made a pro progress to reduce it. So this is uh, Beijing the uh, emission. Uh, a yellow color, that's actually uh, the emissions. If no control, uh, the pollution, uh, here we give uh, 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 the, uh, the different uh, uh, way to reduce the emission. Uh, the red color, that's a re reduction by the new emission stand standard. Uh, standard. So, uh, mob mobile population continue increase, but uh, the pollution, just like the yellow color, de continue decrease. That, that means uh, for gasoline and cars, the pollution control made a big uh, progress. So uh, UNEP uh, reviewed uh, the air pollution uh, uh, in Beijing for the 15 years. So uh, uh, the conclusion is uh, among uh, all the mega cities, Beijing achieved uh, fast the improvement in it is air quality. That's uh, this uh, uh, review made uh, by international uh, experts. Uh, after that, Beijing's progress most uh, focus on primary uh, pollutants. Actually, primary air pollutants become the secondary pollutants. One is uh, PM2.5, another is ozone. So China have to put uh, PM2.5 in the air quality standard. That's in 2012, put the new air pollution control, air quality standard, include the PM2.5. And China, uh, the state council made the air pollution control plan. That's for the five years. 
the for for China for whole China uh, PM10 in the 10 years need to reduce 10 percent but uh, in the some key regions for this first one is around uh, Beijing that's maybe need a five year reduce PM2.5 by 25 percent uh, Yangtze the river uh, uh, Delta region that's a t target is 20 percent for the uh, Pier uh, River Delta 15 percent that's a the five year planning for China to reduce the pollu pollution after uh, 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 the five years just the, from co control coal uh, emission control mobile uh, emission also control industries so the uh, pollutions uh, uh, emission total emission reduced for sulfur dioxide reduced uh, uh, more than 50 percent for NAX uh, reduced uh, uh, 20 percent for primary PM 2.5 reduced uh, about 20, 20 almost 30 percent that's uh, 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 here give the one example for sulfur dioxide how to reduce the emission how to reduce it. here we get to see the, this color is the power plant. The power plant, uh, the capacity increased, but uh, from power plant uh, reduced uh, sulfur dioxide uh, reduced very quickly. So made the uh, total emission uh, re reduced. Uh, say the air quality in the, this uh, uh, five, uh, five years, the, uh, the, uh, that's uh, three key uh, regions for around the Beijing, Yangtze River, then the Pier the River, the, the five years decreased. Especially for Beijing, Beijing's the pollution concentration here, we can see reduced also very quickly. For the uh, five year planning, pollution control planning, and that's a set the target for Beijing, a meter uh, about uh, 60 microgram per cubic meter. That time almost uh, nobody believed that can we can meet that target. But uh, the government and uh, around Beijing, uh, including Beijing themselves, made efforts to reduce to five or eight. Last year, they uh, meet uh, 52, uh, made a continued uh, progress. Secondly, during the control of pollution, China have to uh, involve the climate uh, uh, change. Climate change generally we can say uh, through three steps. First step is for the UN uh, framework uh, convention of climate uh, change in 1992. That, that's time most of the country signed that conditions. Second is the uh, uh, Kyoto Protocol for control of the pollu pollutions. That's um, some countries signed, but the America not signed. The third one is for Paris Agreement. That's also many countries agreed. America also agreed. This uh, that uh, Obama President President Obama and President Xi. Yeah, agreed uh, to the climate, the uh, Paris Agreement. But uh, right now, yeah, you, you are America not, not include, involve the uh, Paris uh, uh, Agreement. But China set up the target uh, what we try to do. In the last five years, uh, China tried to uh, restructuring the industry. Uh, Excel, uh, for the energy trans transit, also uh, improve energy efficiency and, and develop uh, the non-energy, control the non-energy greenhouse gases mitigation, also increase in carbon sinks. Uh, uh, through these five uh, uh, measures, try to uh, control uh, the CO2 uh, uh, emission. Uh, this is the 
the, the energy use change. This is a, a rapid uh, development of uh, non-forest uh, energy increase. This is uh, in, the, uh, la in the last 20 years, uh, the uh, non-forest energy uh, increase in, uh, in China. Uh, for the, uh, the new technology, uh, for develop the clean technology market, China also uh, put out the efforts there. Most of the important uh, is maybe say the uh, electric vehicles. That's the China, maybe the, the bigger market. Maybe share uh, in the world, maybe 40 to 50 percent for electric uh, uh, vehicles. Uh, for control of uh, pollution, even to prove the air quality, I need uh, scientific uh, work to support. For the, this, uh, we need uh, uh, science, uh, we need uh, to measurements, try to gather the, the data, pollution data. Then we need uh, uh, emission inventories, we try to gather the emission data. Plus the uh, meteorology data and the modeling, we try to relate the emission and the air quality. Uh, through, that means from the pollutants, uh, primary pollutants, uh, how to, to the atmosphere, chemistry, physical process become the uh, secondary pollutants. We try related to uh, this, develop, develop this system. Uh, uh, for this system, we need uh, to develop the, uh, the data system. This is the, in the last uh, maybe 10 years, China tried to develop the, uh, the data system. Uh, big, that's uh, emission inventory. Uh, big emission inventory uh, data, uh, different uh, scale, uh, different uh, pollutants. Here is the black carbon, maybe this is uh, CO2. Uh, this is maybe uh, mobile emission uh, for air pollution. That's what we give the, uh, in China, uh, the, the pollution. This data should be very, very important. Uh, also, the scientific work uh, try to got the uh, PM 2.5 source uh, approximate, then try to do the, uh, who, which the industry needed to control further. So this is a, a, with the reception um, uh, model. We also use the air quality model, try to an answer uh, which industry polluted cause the serious pollution. See, the, uh, this uh, annual, annually, the industry played a very important role, maybe 42%, that's from industry. But in January, the household used the coal, maybe caused the big pollution. So we give a different season, whole year, which uh, industry played a more important role for the pollution. This we uh, give the government to try to w where to control. Also, we set up uh, the uh, observation system, not only from the uh, field. Also, we use the new uh, uh, system to get uh, the, the air quality, a large scale. That's the, the progress for uh, the few last tr 10 years, tr uh, mostly I said that about uh, five years. Uh, but uh, right now we have uh, <coughs> uh, faced the ch challenge. The challenge was the, see, we see the air quality. Actually, China's air quality, quality compared with uh, the WHO, uh, that's a long way. Right now, uh, our uh, air quality 35 microgram for PM2.5, just the equal to WHO's the first uh, stage, then we have to one by one, which year we can meet uh, the target. Yeah, that's uh, in two, 2007, 2008, I have one project to develop the control strategy for air quality. At uh, that time I said, uh, we hope, hopefully 
by the year 2050, China can meet the, the air quality for the World Bank. Maybe 15, maybe 10. If 15, just like five years ago, America's air quality. So right now, America changed the air quality from 15 to 12. I, I believe which year, maybe some year, maybe America changed the air quality to World Bank guidelines. So we have to say that China and air quality need to improve in the future. Secondly, some regions polluting is still seriously. This is a, for whole country, PM 2.5 average is 43. But in, around Beijing, maybe 64. Then another region is 50, 65. That's uh, some regions uh, make the larger challenge. Another thing is uh, the seasons. In summer, normally it's good. Fall is okay. But in winter, especially December, January, that's serious polluted. So how to meet uh, the air quality improved in this season, that's also important. Because at that time, in China, most of the uh, north of China need uh, the heating. Heating that's use of coal, that's serious polluted. Also, the meteorology condition in the winter are not so good for diffusion. So in China, maybe have a take years to meet the air quality standard. This is the, maybe the World Bank WHO's suggestion for the air quality. That's the China's for different regions. Uh, to, to the year 2020, maybe can meet us water level. For in Pure, Re Pure River Delta, we try to meet uh, the WHO's uh, first step uh, standard. Yeah, that's a long way uh, to go. If we try to meet the air quality standard, we have to reduce the, uh, even Every pollutants, maybe for sulfur dioxide, need to reduce about more than 50%. NOx need more reduce. Ammonia, that's most of the from agriculture sector. That's very difficult to reduce. Or even say, uh, some people suggest how to reduce, but uh, maybe difficult to act in practice. Uh, VOC is also a big uh, issue, so the China have to a long way. Uh, government uh, gave a new action plan for the 2008-2000. Uh, for this time, also continue to work. Uh, they give uh, four uh, focuses. Key polluting is PM 2.5. Then they give uh, key regions. Key period, period, also keep uh, uh, key sectors. Industry, heavy duty truckers, uh, the, the coal burning and uh, the dust. That's uh, for uh, seasons. For, uh, uh, that's a challenge. Uh, we have to work how to, uh, what's the pathway for energy use? Energy use. This is China's this year's uh, change, uh, change. We developed a, a BAU scenario or a policy control uh, uh, scenario, try to reduce the coal uh, percentage share. This, this is uh, the coal uh, in the 20 to 30, the coal uh, percentage, no increase, continue, maybe lower something. Hopefully, by the year 2030, coal share about 50% for the total energy consumption. Uh, also, China tried to reduce the energy uh, intensity. Uh, per GDP, how to reduce the um, energy uh, intensity? That means uh, energy efficiency. 
energy saving. That's the most, uh, most uh, effective for air pollution control, also for CO2 e emission. So that's a uh, uh, need too. Here I'll give uh, China's uh, uh, flow map for coal. That's the China coal, rural coal production by China, also the rural coal impo imported. From here, maybe 50% for the power plant. Uh, maybe the nine percent used by household or commercial. That's made a very high emission. One tons of coal used here equal or more than ten tons of power plant. So how to reduce this use? Also have have a thirty seven percent by the industries. So control coal uh, emission must the pay attention for 9% or 37% is coal. That's the, uh, for the pollution. Uh, for the household use of the coal, how to reduce it? The best way is to switch to electricity or gas. But where it got the gas? So maybe some region or still try to use the coal. Maybe we how to improve the core quality, how to improve the combustion efficiency, use the advanced stove. So if we try in these two ways, maybe we call it a low emission for this core. Uh, this is the, also uh, f try to use the electricity or natural gas uh, to the uh, maybe the, in the year 2017, 4 million households were already changed from coal, switched from coal to natural gas or electricity. The, that small area, that's the uh, coal-free region. Yeah, uh, that's about uh, uh, 10,000 uh, 10, uh, square kilometer. That's the region. Uh, coal is the first to uh, improve air quality. Second is the mobile emissions. Mobile is emissions, I said, uh, for the gasoline cars, the uh, yeah, control is effective. But for diesel cars, very difficult. For carbon, uh, black carbon emission reduced. But the, the NOx emission increased. How to simultaneously control black carbon and the NOx? That's very important. Even China have set up the new emission standard, but actually that works or not. So that need a good monitor system. Uh, here, I should say, we work with the, uh, uh, Cornell China Center with the Tsinghua University to uh, do a lot of work how to make the uh, mobile uh, diesel emission uh, measurement. Yes. Uh, this is the diesel uh, emission uh, the for different uh, emission standard. So for for the, this uh, uh, study. And uh, finished by the uh, corner uh, and, and China uh, Central. The Max worked with my uh, uh, faculty uh, team. So that's made the uh, uh, progress. Uh, also, uh, the, for the transportation, how to build a transportation system. Bef before China, uh, most of the coal use, use uh, diesel trucks. Actually, how to set up the uh, railway system, maybe the more effective, uh, low energy use. So that's uh, uh, this system uh, in China uh, try to thinking about that. Uh, if the uh, uh, this is for the uh, uh, passenger vehicle. 
uh, if we use the electricity, uh, how, how, to we, how to change? That's a uh, uh, different way. This is uh, after uh, the, uh, we call uh, electric uh, 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 vehicles, uh, different uh, P, uh, region PM2.5 concentration, concentration how to reduce. Uh, on road uh, pollution control, we made efforts, but uh, very little efforts put on non road uh, diesel em emissions. That's the big uh, part. Uh, so here, I think, uh, compared with the uh, uh, US and U, uh, uh, U, EU, uh, they made a progress. But it's for China, non road uh, progress may be quite uh, slow. So have to uh, put more efforts in this field. Uh, here, I give another field uh, needed to, to uh, work for the uh, sheep emissions uh, in the China, uh, maybe uh, uh, many uh, ports that's the largest in the world, but uh, the uh, sheep uh, emission control um, uh, delayed. Uh, even the fuel quality uh, also need more work to do. So in the future, China's energy will continue to increase. This uh, uh, America uh, uh, finished the, uh, the research for the next next 24, 25 years. This is uh, different countries, energy intensity, then uh, GDP per capita, also population inquiry, uh, population, that's for Amer America. For China, the energy intensity will decrease, but uh, the GDP increase uh, maybe continue. Uh, the, this percent larger than this percent. That means the total energy continue but also the population have, have a little bit of increase. So increase uh, the total energy use. How to meet the, the increase, uh, increase? Does it need China have uh, energy intensity to reduce, then reduce the total energy consumption. Also use uh, renewable energy, uh, nuclear energy. Also try to increase natural gas. Natural gas in China uh, only share about 10% for the total uh, energy consump consumption. Uh, right now, have uh, uh, tried to meet the 15% uh, by the year 2030 for natural, natural gas. This uh, also uh, uh, improved air quality. At the same time, also can reduce the emission for CO2. Uh, this is the China uh, for natural gas. Uh, 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 this uh, before the 19, uh, 2007, China not uh, imported so many, so much natural gas. But the recent few years increased very quickly. That's uh, uh, in the future we continue. I think increase. But the whole percentage uh, independence on imported, that's also in China called call energy safety. Most of the people say if uh, independence is uh, 40%, that's uh, critical. So China also in this uh, period will continue to increase this. Uh, through this, uh, China's uh, uh, how to meet uh, uh, the, by the, according to the Paris uh, Agreement, China uh, will uh, reach the ceiling for CO2 emission by the year uh, uh, 2030. This is the, uh, the scenarios, uh, the uh, peaking around uh, 2030. If we develop a controlled scenario, in a uh, week, May, uh, peaking around 2025. 20, uh, that's for uh, CO2. Uh, this is the uh, total emission uh, for CO2 uh, the change. We, we hope the 
by the year 2030, uh, different uh, scenarios. We hope uh, that uh, this one is better. So anyway, we tr maybe between uh, BEU scenario and the PC scenario for CO2. Yeah, that's uh, my talk. Thank you very much. Standards are enforced. How effectively they're enforced? How do they enforce? They set standards, but then how do? They, yeah, if it was this country, there'd be more than just setting standards. You have to enforce them. So, yeah. Is that an issue or not? Yeah, for the maybe for power plants, we have a continual monitor system. That system uh, directly connected with uh, the central government to have a monitor center, can follow the, the most of the power plants. Uh, but uh, for the small emitters, very difficult. So in the winter, uh, MEP, we look at Ministry of Environmental Protection, maybe organize uh, 5,000, uh, even 10,000 people to everywhere to look at the, they follow the standard or not. So, but that's not a good way. So we think so how to use a uh, scientific tool to do that. The continuum monitor system, that's uh, okay. That's uh, we can, can see. But uh, so many people used to hear they f follow the emission. When you leave, they will change back. So that's very difficult, you, you, you said, the management system. As, as the expert in air pollution in China, do you get asked to work with the government to testify and to get the government to do better things? Yeah, we very closely work with the government. We okay. Yeah, we, uh, we can see. Um, for Tsinghua have a very strong uh, uh, group for air pollution, con uh, pollution control. Yeah. So we also very, we can directly s s give my, uh, all our research results to the government, uh, even to the state council. Yeah, the, once I give the lecture to the, 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 the high, highest leaders yeah, to say how to use the control air pollution. We gave the one person first suggestion, America set the air pollution law first, then fo follow the law very strictly. That's the China needed to, to learn. Yeah. yeah, so we might not have a lot of time for this. But, but we have the long yeah, So Yeah, so the, the, the thing I, maybe you want to postpone talking about this for a while, but so China's progress in renewables has been rather remarkable but it's been primarily with solar and wind, and, uh, but you didn't mention geothermal, and there, there's some positive things there with respect to district energy. But I'm curious about how you're thinking about transitioning to low carbon when heating is such a big piece of the problem, both in the U.S. and China. Is nuclear a part of that? Is geothermal a part of that? How are you thinking of doing that? Yeah, the, for, for heating, uh, maybe in the win especially win in the winter, mm -hmm. maybe a share of maybe more than 20% for total energy consumption. Right. That's very important. Right. So uh, people also always think of the thermal, thermal, thermal right. yeah. But uh, the water need to return back. So, so some people always worry if it costs the Water uh, pollutions. I see, but yeah. these are close. That's, that's close. Right. Right. So the uh, you know country said most uh, use the thermal pump to re to, re to reduce right. the, 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 the that's, right. that can lower the uh, the energy use. Right. But uh, you know normal weather uh, thermal pump works, but in the special cold 
maybe still need uh, electricity to make right. make up. Right. So that's uh, 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 in the countryside. Uh, you try to use the low emission, low uh, heat heating. The low, also, the countryside you use the natural gas. Maybe they they feel that's uh, expensive. They cannot uh, like to pay. Some families already changed the heating system to the natural gas. But uh, if no people to to see, they try to use the coal system continue. The uh, natural gas system put it there. But uh, if you want to check, they use the natural gas. Because, <laughs> they, because they don't want to spend more money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. So how to make people paid? The, the government uh, maybe give some, uh, make up some money, but uh, still cannot make the people select the natural gas. Also, natural gas is a big uh, uh, challenge for, for supply. You, the you, import is also. Uh, yeah. So we have a student's question from students because this is our last lecture, right? So, of the semester. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's thank uh, Farhad again for.